Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60 with Sandra. I used to have, when I first started my YouTube channel about four years ago, I had a series called Saturdays with Sandra. And during this series, I would just sit and informally chat, talk about current events or talk about about what was happening to me during the week or on Saturday, or actually just what was on my mind. Today, I thought it would be fun to do a bonus video. I am going to take you through my day from when I wake up to when I go to bed to try to give you an idea of what it's like to be here in South Beach and what my day usually kind of is. I hope you will enjoy it and it's only, it's really short, maybe it's about three minutes or so, but I just would love to have you come along with me while I spend a day with you. I usually leave the house in the morning while everybody's just sleeping. I will take Sophie if I can. And if she is too tired or if the lifeguards are there at the beach, I can't take her on the beach. But that very first day at the beach, when I saw that ship anchored out there, now there are no cruises, so the ships have to anchor out into the ocean with crews and the maintenance people, the engineers and pilots, they all have to be on that ship. They probably don't have a full crew on the ship, but because we're not cruising they have to be somewhere and they can't dock so they anchor out and move from place to place in the ocean uh, so I see them out there quite often but after I spend time on the beach I might walk a little bit along the sand and the beach then I just walk the few steps to my home and if Arthur's awake, we have coffee, and if he's not awake, I'll just have coffee out on the balcony by myself. And when he gets up, we start our day by feeding the pigeons and the squirrels. He does that every single day before he even has breakfast. And we always have cute little people and dogs walking and watching us. They know him and they wait for him to come and they recognize the dogs and they see the dogs and wait for them to come to. This building is called the Cyclone Building and a very famous photographer lives in it, but it's absolutely beautiful. And this is a really nice Israeli fellow who parks there on the beach and he has uh, a tattoo shop. Usually when we come home, if we see the salty donut pop up, we'll stop by and have salty donuts. Food and Wine Magazine have uh, said that they are the best donuts in the United States. And they really are good, believe me. <laughs> but once I get home, um, I'll usually start my day. I go up, if I haven't answered my comments, I'll go up into the garden and answer my comments. And um, once in a while I have little creatures who come up and spend time with me in the garden. I try to do as much work as I can outside because it's very cheerful. And of course we have dinner on the balcony. Then later that night, I will take Sophie for her last walk and we walk around the neighborhood in the back lovely buildings, some art deco buildings, uh, new constructions. This building used to be just a beautiful park was there, but they built a building there about maybe four years ago, but it's very lovely and the neighbors are very nice. Sophie likes to take her meandering walk at night. <laughs> I can't walk fast when I'm with her. But it's a lovely neighborhood and I love it because it has children and young families and a mixture of all ages, which I find very stimulating. This is a picture of an Art Deco building. And sometimes I do my filming at night if I haven't been able to do it during the day. And then many nights we go up into the garden and just relax before we go to bed. And 
beautiful moon over Miami and of course my best friend. Thank you so much for spending Saturday with me today and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend ahead. Take care and thank you for coming.